My friends, welcome back to Star Trek New Horizon. I'm Daily Fix, and we are, of course, playing as United Earth. I, I think, I don't think I've ever said that. Huh. Smart move, right? Smart move. Anyways, we continue where we left off last time. I did start that mining colony over here, that mining district, sorry for that. Uh, and also gave my scientist ship a bunch of orders to go. I was also looking here at the um, Telluride. Uh, we cannot move, can, no, can no longer get them into a coalition because they are, of course, in a coalition with the Denoblians. Which is bad. Uh, I'm a bit bummed out about that. Um, I do hope that the Vulcans will eventually drop um, their rivalry with the Andorians so we can actually get them into a coalition. Uh, because we would be stronger against the Orions. Um, also... This episode, Starbase 2, is going to be done as well as our colony, um, making us uh, already have four plants, which is uh, definitely the most that I've noticed. So now the Vulcans are, of course, being a boss. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. Challenge your preconception. Shut up, please. And the Andorians have four as well. Orions, one, two, three. Yeah. It doesn't look good for the Denoblin Unity, actually. Uh, it's only one. Um, we'll just um, see what will happen. Uh, let's continue with the expands. Captain Jonathan Archer, yes, has been selected to lead a mission into the Delphinic Expands to gather intelligence on the uh, Zini. Zindi. Sorry. Starfleet has decided to utilize the most advanced Starfleet, the Enterprise, for Jonathan Archer to command for the duration of the expedition. Where contact with Earth is expected to be limited. That means that we're going to be uh, somewhat um, in a very weak position. Because the Enterprise will be uh, disappearing out of this fleet, I think. And the contingent of soldiers from the Military Assault Command Operations, MACO, have also been assigned to serve under him. There we go. We just lost a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Station is almost done. That, that's the most important thing. So we're going into the Expands. Um, this is all fine. Uh, we got the construction ship over here. Joe, we can actually take this system once it's uh, it's done. I don't expect too much of it. There's still six orders going. And he will be... Uh, make sure that he's going to be better. Let's increase you as well. Uh, solar Sailor. We have discovered that they abandoned Solar, uh, solar Sail ship in orbit around the Luna Nova. Supplied special has been built by an alien of unknown culture. Yeah, that's a way. So, um, we'll get some research for that, which is nice. Ships upgraded. Okay, the ships have been upgraded. Now he upgraded. Technology. Um, regional capital. We can actually upgrade the Earth capital, which is nice. Uh, tile blockers, finally. I'm um, happy about that. So, we got uh, toxic kelp and we got the dense jungle. Um, which we wow the wasteland of Rio de Janeiro oh I'm sorry if you're living in Brazil um, what do you got toxic kelp how about you dense jungle and toxic kelp so definitely toxic kelp because uh, yeah it does the most for us it's uh, two against one uh, construction ship not doing anything anomaly. Um, Terra Nova has been located on one of the United Earth's first ex uh, extrasolar colonies. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? This is so nice, it's Terra Nova. I'm really happy that we did this. I'm really happy about this. This means that we could potentially get two planets. So Terra Nova was the location of one of the United Earth's first extra solar colonies. Uh, having received no communications from uh, the uh, planet in years, every effort should be made to determine the fate of the expedition. I agree. Okay, here we go again, the Expanse. After weeks of fruitless search in the Expanse, Captain John Archer has found its first clue. The owner of the Telithium mining station claims to... Uh, employ a Zindi laborer and would be willing to arrange a, a meeting for a price. One of the Zindi workers' fingers is provided as evidence 
an unfortunate mining accident apparently, which uh, provokes more questions. The organic residue, uh, uh, residue from the probe that attacked Earth shares a number of genetic markers in, um, uh, in common with those from the uh, finger. Uh, however, they appear to be from separate through related species. Okay. Can we do this? Yes, we're going to buy him. I think that's the best um, solution. I I'm sure that he didn't lose his finger in like a mining accident. If there's a mining accident, he would probably lose half his body. So the mining facility administrator appears surprised that Captain Jonathan Arter Archer would meet his price, but arranges to transfer these in the worker to the Enterprise after payment is made in full. After being brought to the Enterprise, the worker, a male named Kashak, expresses his gratitude at being freed from what he describes as a slave, haber, a slave laborer in the mining facility. On questioning, Kashak appears to know nothing of the attack on Earth, but does confirm the location of these in the homeworld and that six separate species of Zindi evolved there. Okay, cool. Um, anything that we need to be doing, come on, you need to finish up there. Um, the Changeling, the Changeling, holy shit. Uh, facilities on Earth have made some progress understanding the properties of the metamorphic fluid. It appears to contain neutral-like properties in the high distribution, high distributed uh, topology. Oh man, this is oh that's so cool. That's so cool. I love um how does he name again? Oh, in, in Deep Space Nine. Odo. I loved Odo. Odo is amazing. Exposure to various uh, electromagnetic stimulant could be one path to Okay, we're going to um make that stuff. I think that's the best of the two options. Um Investigating Terra Nova. Well, as long as we don't miss uh, the opportunity to take both of these uh, systems. And I'm actually debating if we should go here and just build this outpost uh, and not wait. I think that's going to be the best option because I do want to have this planet before the Vulcans take it. Uh, back to the adva uh, to the expanse. We have arrived at the coordinates of these in the home system. However, no habitable worlds can be detected. Instead, a enormous asteroid field fills the star habitable zone. Cool. There's actually a habitable zone. Nice. Using predictive modeling, the science officers, uh, officer is able to confirm that the asteroid field came from a single world between 100 uh, 150 and 200 years ago. Uh, material, material analysis of the field indicate the presence of advanced compounds that indicate the presence of a warp faring culture. If this is the Zindi home world, it has been broken for a long time. Let's continue. Okay, what are you doing here at the moment? So we have 91. We could send them over here. Just in case, but I don't think he will be there. Um fast enough uh, let's just leave him there mm, what can we do we could we have an upgrade here and um, we're lacking minerals this would actually create unity as well as amenities apparently it gives houses and two more jobs I'm definitely interested you're still building which is fine you are getting towards the free. Two more houses available, no amenities. We'll have to change that, of course. Oh, here we go, Terra Nova. Man, this is so exciting. I'm really happy about this. So, um, the captain turns to the communications officer and asks her to open the channel to the surface. Uh, the hills to the lost colony are met with silence and no reply is received. Uh, the captain consults with the science officer requesting analysis. There are no bio signs, but the colony appears to be intact. Sensors now detect low lives, no low levels of surface radiation. Some mysterious should remain mysteries. Assemble an away team. Definitely an away team. Come on now, we need that. We need answers. What are you doing here? 
So the captain's log supplement captain's log supplemental. The OA team shuttle has been has landed on the surface near the colony. All that they have found so far are empty buildings covered in rust and uh, foliage. There are no signs of weapon fire and other indications of what happened there of here. Uh, the captain orders the away team to the colony's community relay to put whatever information they can um, access to be accessed. Okay, interesting. Oh, they're definitely expanding over. They took this system, which isn't too bad. Why aren't they colonizing this continental one? Can't you do that? Uh, it does appear that they are desert savanna type. Oh no. After searching for five days and sending numerous away teams to the surface area, all that they found is an old communication log that they um, that was never transmitted due to an asteroid impact destroying the, communica uh, the colony's communication tower. Lack of bodies. Well, we gained some experience and some... But oh well. Uh, that's... What I've heard is that there is a possibility that you actually get, like, um, a colony there without doing anything, which definitely is, um, is cool. Okay, back to the expanse. Man, this is absolutely full of lore. Take a sip, because my throat, damn. Mm. That's so cool, two more months. And that's almost at 90. The Enterprise have detected a Vulcan distress signal being transmitted from the nearby asteroid field. On inspection, the vessel from uh, Celia is heavily damaged and not responding to hails. Boarding the vessel, Captain Jonathan Archer leads an away team to make contact with the crew and attempts to um, effect repairs. Deep in the Vulcan ship, several Vulcan crew members um, in a Deep in the Vulcan ship, several Vulcan crew members in a frenzied state ambush Jonathan Archer's team, forcing them to take refuge in the Celia's control room, analyzing the bio readings from a Vulcan officer stunned unconsciousness uh, unconscious reveals the psychotic psychotic effect that has been caused um, by exposure to delirium delirium D which prevent, uh, pervades the asteroid field. Uh, investigate cure. Because that will help our relationship. The uh, Captain Johnson Archer orders the Enterprise medical staff to exhaust all options to provide a cure to, uh, to the psychotic Vulcans on the Cerulea, while the away team reinforces their position in the control room. Nearly a day passes before, the ser before a series of potential cures are provided. However, a request. Uh, the, uh, however, all require testing. Select them, um, selecting the most likely antidote, a medical team distributes the concoction of delirium denutralizing agent through the life support umbilical connections on the Selenia starboard docking pod. Damn. Within minutes, the entire crew of the Salinas is, un uh, is unconscious, allowing the away team to exit the control room. Several hours pass and the crew begin to awake again, showing no signs of their previous behavior. The, away and the surveying senior staff of the Salina expresses their gratitude. It can evolve and express gratitude. Thank you. Bye. Uh, that, that wasn't actually uh, anything like a Vulcan one. Let, let's forget about that. From the enterpri uh, enterprise efforts, um, a promise to petition to the Vulcan government to assist the United Earth search for a solution to the Xindi crisis as soon as the... Okay, that's cool. That's really nice. Okay, so he is going up to Mabu. That's really cool. Construction, Construction has been complete. That means that we get more um, my, uh, minerals soon. <coughs> Capilla? Hmm. Cool. So we've detected the presence of a primitive, primitive culture. Cool. Uh, means extra research, which is definitely interesting. Tabe is not connected to a trade network. Do we need like Colony established. to change this? No, it's probably trade depot. Starbase trade uh, value or modifier. Survey complete. Uh, from the uh, Mars and class, no sign of life. Okay, that's unfortunate. 
Can we upgrade? Uh, yes, uh, ooh, we can. Shall we upgrade this as well? It will cost us a tiny bit, but it does provide us with 2% extra research. And plus 4 student jobs, that's a lot. That would halt our economy a lot. I don't think I'm ready to commit just yet. I'm not ready to commit to that building either. Yes, it's nice for the Unity. Yes, it's nice for the MNTs. But I'm going to wait for um, whatever it is that you got to say about this. Should we do that? Yes or no? Also, the colony has been done. Continental worth. World. I'm happy about this. Four colonies. That's that's amazing. Really like that. Um, um, traffic control, definitely. Crew quarters, maybe not as much. Let's make sure that happens. Naval depots. Let's make two of them so we can actually have a few more ships. Uh, we got the um, the minerals, so why not? The months of investigation have led Captain John van Archer to this in the mining colony where um, Kero Kimo site, a key element used in the Cindy probe attack on Earth, is being produced in huge quantities. The mining appears th the mines appears to be surrounded by a number of small settlements. Um, with layout suggesting civilian use. With enough time and materials, we could um, fashion a series of explosive charges that would destroy. Um, let's send an away team. Infiltrating the mining colony, um, Jonathan Archer's team have identified the head of operation and have captured him in his home. Questioning this in the um, arboreal, a male called um, Garlic reveals how he had been assumed that kerosite production at the colony was for research purposes only, horrified by the prospect of his word killing millions. Garrick agrees to help sabotage the next shipment of kerosite. Okay, that's excellent. Like that. Um, should we start? We could make another colony, but I'm thinking we should let the other one grow because I think it might be hurting. Um, we're just going to save, keep this section, perhaps get Epsilon as well. Uh, so we can actually blob out there, but I would really, really like um, for this fleet to be more as a fleet. What kind of uh, admirals do we have? We don't have strikecraft um, anywhere, no. I should have taken the uh, the cruiser class, didn't I? Yes, I should have. Let's see. We still can't do it. He, even in his uh, in his fleet manager, he still counts uh, this to be in his fleet. Okay, so we'll have to wait for this to finish. The traffic control is important for speed. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, look at that. He's moving to the bamboo, but we're already there. I think I made a, a good decision here. Stealing this system from the Vulcans. There we go. Armor hit points. Shield hit points. We don't have shields just yet. Advanced warheads. What's up with the torpedoes? Trillium D. Um, let's take a quick look here. Doesn't appear to be anywhere in this system. However, uh, I, we're already um, encountered Terillium D at the mining colony. It does sound a bit odd that we have already gotten all that stuff and actually have no clue what it did. So it makes no sense. Let's see, 28. Strange new world. The USS Newton shuttle launches as soon as they enter the atmosphere of the Lendal. Uh, four, Captain Albredo leading the expedition alongside the ship's science officer. A um, decent over vast stretches the grassland and serves to confirm readings of an orbit. So uh, this M-Class, the strange new world, is ripe for colonization. Touching down um, near the intersection of forest fields and a range of 
rock outcrops the team under Captain Alberto begins to survey the area. Several hours passed uh, before the USS Neutron nails the captain advising of a minor technical fault that has been discovered in the sensor array, requesting the return of the science. Let's send him back. What the hell? Several hours since the science offered the parts uh, for the USS Newton, the remaining survey team has started to make progress. The world appears to appear, uh, appears perfectly habitable through tricorders have struggled to analyze the uh, composure of a pollen common to the air. Ah, I, I, I get a feeling I know this one. Um, the wind has started to pick up and the clouds have darkened. A storm appears imminent. Captain Alberto orders the team to move to the camp equipment before the, um, into the uh, moves the uh, wow. Captain Alberto orders the team to move the camp equipment into the cave network into um, into rocks nearby. Um, by the time the equipment is relocated, the rain and winds are raging outside. Communications with the ship is uh, attempted, but some property of the rocks prevents signals. I know this one definitely. Um. Oh wow! How did they do it again? Search the cave immediately. That's what we're going to do. Several hours before the botanist is found unconscious but alive, uh, near a rock pillar hanging from the roof in the cave, it appears she hit her head on the rock with force, not seeing it ahead of her. Argument break out among the surveying team, with many talking of whispers in the shadow. Yeah, they all get paranoid. So they leave the planet then. The survey team access the cave into the field made uh, sudden from the storm. More and more of the team appear to be acting erratically and a number of... Um, psy cycle alterations begin to break out. Uh, the captain and the security officer are the only two unaffected. Communication to the ship, um, communication to the ship restored. The pair are able to transmit medical tricorder telemetries to the crew on the USS Newton to analyze. It's quickly appeared that the pollen discovered on the landing has has a um, contagious psychological effect to which the captain and security officer are immune. Returning view by shuttle or transporters are both ruled out to prevent endangering the USS Newton. The possibility of sending a away team to uh, in biohazard gear to the surface. Let's send the team. Oh, that is a nice, nice dragonfly. What's the time? 23 minutes. I need to fix this. Oh dear lord, no. The second team um, established a clean research space. The captain is already going insane. He's breaking through. He dies. There we go. Captain Newton died. I couldn't uh, pronounce his name anyway, so might as well go. Um, let's do, the, do, do, do this guy. You are the new captain. Um, I would like you to... Stop. Uh, survey here, here, there, here, and there. Oh, okay, so this episode, we got a new colony and we have a second star base, which is um, building up. Um, we are going to do this one next time. We got a unfortunate death. We actually got the Mambu system before they do. Uh, I got a feeling that they will try to get over oh, he's actually moving back so we did stop them uh, we're definitely going to take this planet as well here's a desert there is a glacial not sure what it does but we want to have those two planets for future expansion once we have more people we are going to expand our alloy production because that is what is really slowing us down in terms of our military might as well I don't like I don't like the fact that we're not doing as well. <laughs> I'm a bit bummed out by this as well. That they formed a coalition. But what can you do? As for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
I'll see you next time. Goodbye.